Welcome to The Daily Dose. We are in a post-Easter series called Because of the Cross. My name is Jordana, I'm one of the Life Group pastors, and I also have the privilege of pastoring the Soul Gospel venue at our Vista campus. And today I'm, I'm actually really excited to share with you Because of the Cross blank. My fill in the blank for today is Because of the Cross, we are made new. I actually have a collection of crosses. I've had the privilege of being able to travel around the world, and when I go to places, I've been on a number of mission trips, and I have collected crosses. I have about 16 that are really all very special to me because each one has a meaning, and they come from a place that's got some kind of experience attached to it. In fact, these crosses in this collection remind me of who God is, and they remind me that God's on the move, and He is doing a work in all of the nations. Well, this one that I'm holding today that you can see, and if you're listening to this, I'll describe it to you. This cross has a very special and sentimental meaning to me. In fact, it's my favorite of my entire collection. In 2005, I had the privilege of going to Joss, Nigeria, where our team was able to be a part of a groundbreaking ceremony because we were able to, through the generosity of donors to our church and some partnership with two incredible doctors in Nigeria, Drs. Chris and Mercy Asichi, we were able to help build a brand new three-story medical clinic called Faith Alive. Now, Drs. Chris and Mercy had been providing free medical care first through their home and then through this dilapidated building that they happened to be able to use. And we were there to not only watch the groundbreaking and participate in the groundbreaking ceremony for the new facility, but we actually also got to see them tear down the old facility. And so as you can imagine, it was very emotional. In fact, my dear friend Sally, who made this cross for me, as you can tell, it was not purchased from a store. It was made. It was created. She actually made this cross with the artistic ability of mosaic. She took pieces from the rubble, from the demolished building, and she created this beautiful piece of art. And on the back, she wrote this. She titled it, Out of the Rubble. On the very back of this cross right here that's noted Faith Alive, October of 2005, she wrote the verse 2 Corinthians 5.17, which says this, and many of you might be familiar with this verse. Therefore, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. The old thing has passed away. Behold, new things have come. Because of the cross, we are made new. Can I get an amen? (sighs) Friends, please know this today. Because of Jesus and his work on the cross, we are made new. Romans 6, 4 says this, We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. 1 Corinthians 5, 7 says, Get rid of the old yeast so that you may be a new unleavened batch as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let me tell you again the verse that's on the back of this cross, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, and the new is here. I love looking at scripture in different versions of the Bible, and the Amplified Version says it this way. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ that is grafted in, joined to him by faith in him as their Savior, he is a new creature, reborn and renewed by the Holy Spirit. The old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition have passed away. Behold, new things have come because spiritual awakening brings new life. If you're holding on to a pile of rubble today, friends, I encourage you to put it at the foot of the cross. If you're holding on to some broken pieces and you're trying so hard to put them back together yourself, give them to Jesus. For many of us, we can think of times in our lives where God really has put together the rubble, where he really has created a masterpiece out of our brokenness. He's taken that brokenness and made something beautiful. If that's you today, thank him for that. Give him the praise that is due. Friends, be encouraged by this. Because of the cross, you and I are made new today. Have a great day, dosers.